Pisces, welcome to your July forecast. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. You know, if you are actually going through some, you know, periods of distress, feeling lethargic, that you just want to lie down all day and sleep or just don't want to do anything, and, if, and even if you are cramming or that, you know, the deadline is already approaching, it's like you're still crawling, you know, or feeling like not in the mood, up and down, feeling so, you know, like emotional, um, irritable. Ugh, you're not alone. Yeah. I feel like there are a lot of people that's going through that as well. Hmm. Pisces, you are going through some... Hmm. You're going through some, um, you know, like you feel like somebody have cheated on you. Or somebody has been dissing on you. In a way, we'll still be checking out later on for the clarifications, okay? Who is this person that's been uh, cheating on you? Or did you feel like this person have deceived you? Alright. Ooh. First card. Mm -mm -mm. Well, good things coming your way when it comes to your work and finances. Bit of a drama on the side when it comes to your personal stuff. So, let's take a look. Still getting reunited with a person from the past, which is an earth sign. Whom you feel like you've already won over, but then the battle is not yet over. It had only started. You've been trying to fight for your feelings about, you know, against this person, but then... You need to start embracing that there are some things that you just can't seem to control, or is already out of your control. Uh huh. This is almost the same. It, 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 no, actually, the first three cards. This is the cards. Uh, these are the cards of um, Aries. Except for this, which is the card of cheating. So, hmm. All right. Let's take a look. Singles, looks like you are going to be having sex with somebody for one last time. And it's part of your vengeance. Be very careful because he might be the one who is at the end of your, you know, of your plans. Or you might be at the bitter end of this whole thing that you're planning. It might just bounce back at you. Be careful in playing with fire with a water sign. And some of you will also be experiencing some chest pain, nausea, well, nausea, and, uh, look after your, you know, you look after your heart and your uh, blood pressure. Some of you will also have some problems with your knees, with your strength, uh, with your blood, and you will also have some problems standing, moving, or staying outside, or, you know, like standing on your own. All right, Aries, let's take a look. Who is this person who have deceived you that you wanted to run away from? Is he, that you feel so devastated and, you know, feels like the world has already crashed, up, crashed on you. Ah, thinking about this person, which is an earth sign, who's very hardworking. And that you have been, like, trying to push, trying to escape, and trying to avoid altogether. But this person is very hardworking. And this person actually means the world to you or means a lot to you. And even though that there has been a lot of, let's say, you know, a lot of discrepancies as well and um, some injustices that you feel, 
you're still wishing for this person to woo you for things to change develop you know for this person to even cross the puddle or jump the puddle for you and be a man you know yeah, especially if you're a woman of course but you know um I feel like this person only needs some time to have some courage and he doesn't like so please this is a general reading whether it's a man or a woman okay it's up to you you try to switch the genders okay so I feel like he doesn't like being pushed he doesn't like it when somebody puts you know words into his mouth and try to say that this is what you should do I want you to do this I want you to do that the more you do that the more you nag this person about what they should do and what they shouldn't do the more they will show you that they have horns and that they're ready to charge on you or that they are ready to show you how stubborn they are so that is not actually the way on how to deal with them and I feel like this person wants to deal with you in a much more mature than adult way which you keep on running away and you keep on you know like hiding from your fears and hiding from your insecurities and you feel like no this person will never change I will just keep on getting hurt you know this person will just leave me for somebody and this person will just keep on walking away from me while I want him to be this this that you know this and that this and that and I want him in this so and so thing or in this so and so day time or situation there is a power struggle between the two of you the other one doesn't want to be pushed it doesn't want to be pushed and then you keep on it's like whenever you want him you want him you know right there and then so there are a lot of it's like the miscommunications and you always misinterpret this person's intention and you feel like this person has been cheating on you has been sleeping with someone been with someone and womanizing and stuff like that so here you are hiding cutting off being cold and distant being so you know vindictive and trying to cut off your feelings but still thinking about him you will get stuck in this realization until that you will just you know break your heart or you will feel so heartbroken jaded and you know feeling so all over the place and it's like you just want to pick up the pieces again but then you're not yet ready you want to move away move on and you want to you know enjoy your life while you're trying to move away from this person but will you you will try to find the strength, but the more you push away or the more you pull away from this person, the more trouble will come to you. Because I feel like this person have some f past life entanglement with you, or you do have some karmic balance that you still need to, you know, resolve. And uh, some karmic ties as well. And I feel like this is where you will also, this is also the... You know the month where you will be realizing that it's just time for you to stop running you know it's just time for you to stop running away that it's just time for you to face the truth okay and know what is the truth about this person you have to let you have to you know let them talk you have to hear them out you have to let them explain to you whether they are lying or not and when you know and if they do don't just say or just throw it in their face you're a liar you know like i don't want to listen to you you're just using me you're just you know like giving me with all of your alibis but it's not true but no matter how much you try to push this person outside the door no matter how much you try to kick them out try to run away entertain someone else go out on a date have sex and stuff like that why is it that you're still thinking about this person over and over again and you can't seem to get them out of your head you can't seem to get them out of your system it is because that there is a lesson that you have to learn which you are trying to take a shortcut by breaking up with them all right now the, well the story is you know the, the story hasn't really ended and it's not yet going to end anytime soon this month the two of you will still get back together all right 
and you're just punishing yourself by pushing away that happiness which is even if this person okay let's say for example that this whole situation is so toxic that this you feel like this person just just keeps on hurting you over and over again but don't you think that there is a lesson that you have to learn from this situation first before moving on to ne to the next chapter or next relationship because even if you will be successful in cutting off this relationship the karmic lesson of this you know previous relationship will transfer to the new relationship plus the lesson and karma of the new relationship so there will be two that you will be dealing with now for some of you who is actually wondering so why is it that i keep on getting you know hurt and i keep on getting like a failure in the relationship it's like you know uh same situation only different phases it is because that the more you run away from the problems it's like an avalanche you know it will start from a small ball of snow and then the more it descends the, the, you know the more it gets bigger and it will run after you faster right before you know it so i feel like it's you know there's something that you need to look into a different perspective right before running away from this person because there is a truth that you will be learning you just need to you know you just need to um listen to them you just need to let them talk and you just need to let them explain and find it in your heart to forgive and also some of you Pisces are not really ready for a relationship that's why you're being like this that all the people that you meet or all the people that you date out it's like you tar them with the same brush or you put the same brand just because that you feel like oh they're gonna leave me anyway or they're gonna cheat on me anyway or they're gonna do this anyway so what if they're not gonna do that and it's like you're really manifesting the energy that you're so afraid of right now when it comes to your finances and to your uh when it comes to your finances and to your workplace looks like mm, lump sum of money coming your way even though you're gonna be a little bit argumentative and there is also a fire sign that will be pissing you off and that will also be pushing you and there is somebody who is an air sign that will be mediating between the two of you this person is very you know this fire sign is very childish and they keep on bullying you at work you know in your workplace either this is your boss or just your colleague and you know they feel so threatened of you that's why they're doing this but then this air sign which is i feel like higher than this person is the one who'll be mediating the, the two of you and there will be some changes which is i feel like there will be you know there will be some let's say settlement or ceasefire and you will be working in the in a different department or project or team and that this person will also be moving you know away from you even though that this person will try to you know to put up one last fight you're the one who's going to be winning and you're the one who's going to be on top of it so don't be afraid if some of you you know if you're so afraid of losing your job because of this person no you're not in fact that this is the per you know this is the one who will be losing their job or this is the one who'll be losing their ego or reputation and you will keep on bettering and um you know improving yourself and your um your skills and you are a very strong person because the management is right behind you so don't worry about it and there will also be some positive changes which will lead to a celebration and much more brand new beginnings and success all right now when it comes to your love life somebody from the past which is an earth sign that you've been trying to put away or that you've been trying to move away from will be wooing you even though you're going to be a little bit aggressive and even though that this person will be acting like you know they don't want you they're going to show you in their own method or in their own way how much they want you because they will be offering you their cup of love and then there will be a brand new beginnings and you know well talking about marriage and having a family but then another betrayal will be reoccurring again and then they're followed by the tower 
changes and you feel like you've been you know you've been such a fool by letting this person lead you on again and then the six of swords uh, sorry the six of swords came out meaning that you will be walking away or moving on or moving forward and then the five of cups which you will be feeling like you're at a loss and you just want to change your entire destiny or life path away from this person you'll be concentrating in your work and getting rich <laughs> and building your finances and your uh, stash of cash but then even though you will be working so hard and you'll be having a lot of money or cash you can't help not to think about what to do about this person until that you're gonna be taking an action and you will be traveling within the next two weeks all right now some Pisces it looks like you're gonna have one last sex with someone that you you know with whom you think have a uh, ditch you for somebody or who've used you or who cheated on you or something like that but whatever it is there is a different you know you have a different intention why you will be with this person once again well uh, this person is you know it's like there will be a lot of you know complicated things and complicated matters that this person is involved in and you're gonna sp you're gonna be spinning the wheel so you just want to remove the mask of this person okay and you just want to prove to yourself that this person is really not worthy of your time so for those who's newly singles looks like you're gonna be sleeping one last time with your ex and prove to them that nah, you know like I was right with my decision you're not really worth it so and then this person will try to get back at you and so on and so forth but then once you're over and done with then you're done all right be careful with your heart and with your high blood pressure chest pains and feeling so nauseous you know be careful with any heart ailments and you will also have some problems walking getting up um some of you will also be feeling so you know like some of you will have some lack of potassium so you know might as well just uh, check out with your doctor what is really wrong with you and it seems like you'll also have some problems with your stomach um uh breathing and migraines and it seems like you will also try to research for your own you know for your let's say for whatever it is that you're feeling or for your own medical stuff but it is much better for you to go and take a visit to your doctor's clinic or to your doctor or to the hospital okay now another door well when one door closes another one opens and this is what's going to be happening and coming your way for those who just broke up with their loved ones it looks like right before you know it there's already a new love that will be coming your way but you still have a long way to go in getting over the grief now you will still have to push through with the uh, you know like getting over the pain and the grief and the bitterness the pain the anguish so that you won't apply the same thing to the new relationship that you're going to be in and it looks like right now you're already standing at the edge and you know like it's dangerous but you're enjoying the view meaning that there is a very risky situation a risky decision that you'll be making but whatever happens you feel like you know it's worth taking the risk and you will soon find your way home meaning that you you know right after this whole transitional phase you will be finding yourself digging into the right path where you are really meant to be all right anyway that's it for you for this month pisces and if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you